you guys, it is me, Saber. Welcome back to my channel. This is part seven of The Novelist. I give this game a huge thumbs up. If you've been following along with this gameplay, I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. I seriously would highly recommend this game to anyone because there's like so many possibilities and outcomes that could happen. And obviously you're only watching what I choose, but I think this game would be great for you to try on your own and try to figure out if you think you can make better decisions than I can because, you know, I'm a 21-year-old college student who's figuring out the rest of her life. So trying to solve a family issues is not going very well. So in the last part, let's see what had happened. When Linda's grandmother's funeral, oh, dang it, that's the call she gets. This is what the last part, we're in part seven. When Dan received a surprise inheritance, he gave it to Linda so she could join an art co-op in town, but he also scheduled play dates so Tommy would be around other children more. So this part is part eight, when Linda's grandmother's funeral was the same day as Dan's book signing and a trip they'd planned with Tommy. Dang it. This one's gonna be so hard. Dang it. Dang it. Mark the 21st of this month on your calendars. Uh, for one day only, watch the world famous fighter five as they scream across the sky. Witness the death. Okay. Dan, big news. Got a call from Bracket Books in Eugene, and they want you to do a reading from Wind Song. Maybe even some question and answer. Some book signings, all that good stuff. I think you should do it. In fact, I'm going to be pretty pissed if you don't. Bracket is a big outlet, so if this goes well, orders for the new book will definitely go up. I don't need to remind you how long it's been since Tramer's Way came out. If you don't keep your name out there, no one will even notice when you finish the new book. Whatever it's called... Hell, speaking of the new one, why don't you read some of it, too? Maybe the second chapter you sent me last month. That one was pretty good. Bracket Books, Eugene, 21st. See you there. Paul, P.S. You know the long game, right? Nailing this one could mean a bigger advance on the next book. Alrighty, then. How many sleeps? That's so cute. You adorable. Oh, no. Dang it. Okay, I'm going to drop down here while everyone's downstairs. Kid, I can already tell you, we're not going to the plane show. I know exactly what it is that you want. I know exactly. Just feels the same day as signing in Eugene. Eugene. And Paul says they can't move. He'll understand if they are okay. He knows Linda's Linda would Linda feel as if it was a story. story. You know, give a damn idea why I missed it. Mm. Just get him out, get him out, put it in the spirit, and she writes right now, right now, right now, a little bit more and more. And it's not just the time they tell me. If I do the reading, I get a chapter to share and shape. It's not even the moment we're ready for any of the series to end. Can't worry about worry about what Paul is like. He's writing some poster stories for me. Then we're about to hide Tommy. Hmm. Well, uh, at this point, Tommy's just probably not going to get his way, honestly. For those who didn't, didn't, I truly wish you wish you had. She was an example of all of all of us. A warm, warm, a caring, caring, and her stories were impossible. 
forget, forget. It's still it's hard, still to, hard believe to believe that she's gone without, without her, 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 the world is... No. Is... Oh. Girl. I'm so sorry. Dang it. I'm so glad we picked her outcome last time. So glad. Okay, anything in Tommy's room? Nope. As always, nothing. Nothing, nothing. That means... Well, I guess I gotta read his memories. Come here, flicky flicky. <laughs> Come here, Dan. Let's listen to your memories, kid. Turn around. Turn that big thing around. Turn it around. Okay, you do that. You do that, son. Aww. Dan, I'm so sorry. Tell me what I can do. Oh. Well, you can just be there for her, so there's that. I should have made any head. I don't know if I'll be a help with both, but I'm still spending all day kissing on myself. Did I cop out? Is there some other reason why I didn't want to get the book out there yet? I was supposed to believe I'm doing something that matters and I'm scared to tell the world about it. God damn it. Build your, build your confidence, Dan. Hmm. Okay. Well then. He wants to work on the chapter. Oh, dang it, there's a piece of paper right there. Can I go over here? And flicky flicky? Again, again. Yep, again. Okay, bye. Call Paul first thing in the morning. Any possible way to move it? Is this thing announced yet? Well, your turn, girl. Dang it! No! No! <laughs> Ooh! Let's go back on that one. Who had a day? Monica, 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 you, you good, girl. So good. I don't like listening to you cry. What? He needs to call and buy a ticket if he's coming to the funeral? What? Why? I'm so confused. I need to go in her room. But I can't. Ugh. Let's go right here. Dang it. I'm just gonna make a run for it. I'm running. 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 Tommy, wait, where are you at, little brat? Where are you, kid? Are you in your room? Yeah, yes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, little one. All right. 
Oh, didn't mean to do that. I want to go right there. Exit memory. Go in the light. Read your thoughts. Maggie says there are going to be tons of planes. Well, buddy, sorry. So he needs to call and buy ticket. Alright. Okay. I think we're going to... Where's the phone? Is it down here? I don't remember. I think it is. Where was the phone? It's in the kitchen? Where's where's the phone? There's a phone. Yeah, yes. So there's a phone. We did phone things. <laughs> we did phone things. Kind of like fun. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. Oh, Lord. Okay. Let's go ahead and hop down here. What is this? Oh, no, 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 no. Escape. I do not want to do that. I do not want to do that. Diary of K. Williams. I have decided it, and I am sure of my decision. I do not w know which is right or wrong, only that my choice is my own. It took three days, three days alone, letting whatever calming influence is here, for I am sure there is something guide my thoughts. I thought about Jay and talked with Jay in my mind. I know that this is right. I cannot think about the path not taken, only the one ahead. She's going to commit suicide. I can already tell. That's what that's what she's going to do. She's going to do it. Let's see. Anything else in here? He wants to finish. Yes. And that's what we did. Is there anything else? Any other clues? I guess not, because I do not see... I do not see any. Alrighty. so sweet. Okay, good. Oh, good grief, Tommy. Spank him and get it over with. <laughs> if he's going to throw that big of a fit. Okay, you guys, it seems like we may only have one more chapter left in this game. If you like this part, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you haven't done it yet. And you would like to, go ahead and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.